The Gothenburg city race, which in fact is Sweden's first real city race, was an enormous public success. Almost 30,000 spectators enjoyed some extremely high-quality motorsport when in the middle of June the STCC drivers competed on the old banana wharf right in the middle of central Gothenburg. For Volvo cars, this is also a way of showing that it's possible to be successful and at the same time drive with environment-friendly ethanol engines. Last year was fantastic for us. We made uh, really good progress on the 85 engine. We got worldwide publicity, and launching the new car has just improved on that. We've got people here today from Thailand, from Russia, so you can see we're making an impact around the world. And for the drivers, there's something a bit special with a city race. There is quite a big difference between this circuit and a normal race circuit because here there is no room for uh, adroid. Uh, you cannot make, mis- make mistakes because there is no space to drive off. And you have the guardrail so close, which make uh, the car, uh, you will nearly destroy the car if you make mistakes. And the corner is, uh, is blind because you have the guardrail uh, into the corner, so you cannot see the apex and exit of the corners. So that makes it very special, but it's very fun. Volvo Cars has great hopes for its new C30, that they have tweaked and trimmed even more prior to this season. The big difference is this is a lot sharper, more like a go-kart than a, a saloon car. So on the tight circuits in Sweden, it's an advantage. The hard thing is to learn how to use it, both for the mechanics, the engineers and the drivers. So that's the learning process we're going on. The car feels very good. Uh, OK, it's a new car, so there, it takes time to develop the car. Uh, but the basic is very good. And uh, uh, the high-speed balance of the car is very good, and the engine is very strong. Uh, we need to sort out and work more with the mechanical grip which is coming through the experience and through the season, I think. To be able to show environment-friendly racing in this way in a city race is also important to popularise the sport. I think it's part of the future. It's it's obviously the the type of motorsport or circuit racing that grows fastest. Look at Formula 1. You have Valencia, you have Singapore, Attitude, that's scheduled this year. And and touring cars want to go into the cities. You reach a new audience, uh, you see the sponsors uh, and uh, and the companies behind the teams can engage their their employees and their customers in a different way. But I think you're going to see a mix of of development on the normal circuits and also these kind of city arenas. I came into motor racing in 2006 when Volvo was a little bit struggling and then suddenly the lift off so fast in 2007 and then a new car and then such a reaction from the public. It's fantastic, no question. A win is really what we're looking for. For Volvo cars, the STCC Circus is also both an important and excellent way of showing that they actively work with and support a greener motorsport. And Derek Crabb is completely convinced that new city races will become an important aspect of developing the sport. Without doubt, I mean, uh, if you look at Formula One, the uh, Monte Carlo race is the premium race. If we can bring the same sort of feeling to, to Gothenburg, why not? And there's Stockholm, there's Helsinki, there's others. I'd love to be there.